Hi there, I'm James Ramsey, Product Manager for the Create Stage of the DevOps lifecycle at GitLab. Developing and delivering mobile apps with GitLab is a critical capability. Uh, my colleague Jason Lenny recorded a demo earlier this year of building and deploying an iOS app using GitLab CI and Fastlane and wrote a blog post about the process. But as well as being able to build and deploy iOS apps using GitLab CI, we also want it to be possible to do mobile app development using an iPad. In this brief walkthrough, I'll show the state of iOS app development in the web IDE uh, using uh, this app, Flappy Bird, as an example. So this is a Swift project um, that implements a uh, quick clone of Flappy Bird, and we'll open it up in the web IDE and take a look. So changes to source code are pretty straightforward using the web IDE. Um, let's start by making the pipes um, further apart so that um, I can have less trouble getting between them and get a better score. So this vertical pipe gap variable is the variable that controls it. And we'll make that 250. So you'll see that I had to backspace over the change and that's because it isn't possible to make selections using touch events or using the keyboard. Um, I'm pressing the arrow keys and you can see that nothing's happening. Also, if I try and make touch selections, then it doesn't do anything that we'd expect it to. Um, so mobile devices, in this case touch events, aren't supported by Monaco, which is the underlying editor that we're using. Um, and that prevents us from making a selection. And the keyboard isn't of any help because there's a bug in iOS where key presses aren't being correctly passed from the operating system to Safari. We're tracking these issues um, in this epic here, which is um, con contains a bunch of mobile specific issues relating to the web IDE. Um, and we've also, here, here's the radar, which is tracking the keypad issue, keyboard issue in iOS. And, um, this is the this is an issue tracking the touch um, event problem I mentioned as well. It's worth noting that Xcode projects contain a lot of Xcode specific files, um, like the uh, project pbxproj file, um, which although editable. Um, would typically be managed by Xcode itself, um, and GitLab's web IDE doesn't automatically manage these files for you. Um, another example is uh, storyboard files. Uh, these are specific to Xcode and would be rendered visually if you were to open it in Xcode. Um, GitLab, of course, treats these as text files rather than providing a uh, visual editor with drag and drop capabilities. So let's take a look at one other kind of editing. Um, so let's let's make the Flappy Bird a happy Tanuki. Um, and we'll do that by replacing some of these image um, files. Um, at the moment, updating binary assets isn't super convenient, um, but it is improving with each release. So in order to change out these assets, I'll have to delete them first and then um, commit that change before um, stage all these files, um, remove, remove image assets, I start a new merge request. And then now that we've removed them, we'll be able to upload the upload new ones. Um, so we're going to make this happy Tanuki rather than Flappy Swift. Commit merge request. Let's open this back up in the web ID. Now, if we go here, we need to create a new directory called um, Bird Atlas. And then inside of Bird Atlas, we'll need to upload some new files. So we can do that. I've added them to iCloud Drive. We've got the first one, and we'll upload a new second one. Okay, now we've got our new bird image assets. Let's uh, commit those. Happy Tanuki. So 
change and commit those. Great. There's one last change that we need to make before this is going to deploy correctly to test flight, and that's upgrading the bundle version. Um, so this can be configured automatically, but I haven't done so yet. So we'll just upgrade that quickly. Bump version. Okay, the pipeline's now finished running, and we can see that uh, it's been successfully deployed. If we jump over to test flight, uh, we should be able to see the new build. And there we are, we can see there's a new update. Let's install that and take a look. And here we are, we can see that we've got a new happy tanuki, and we've got really nice wide gaps for us to jump through. And now I am getting a very high score. So this demonstrates how you can edit an iOS app uh, using the web IDE um, to edit it and then deploy it using uh, Fastlane and GitLab CI. Um, thank you for watching and please reach out via GitLab issues, leave comments below or reach out via Twitter if you have any questions or feedback. Um, and I'll post links to those epics that um, I mentioned earlier in the video so that you can leave comments there.